हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडेज क्वेश्चन इज रीच द टारगेट सो द क्वेश्चन गोज लाइक दिस गिवन फोर इंटीजर्स ए बी सी डी ए रिप्रेजेंट्स द इनिशियल पोजीशन ऑफ द गीक ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस ओके इन ईच स्टेप गीक कैन गो एक्स प्लस बी और एक्स माइनस बी इधर इट ही कैन गो राइट साइड और ही कैन गो टू द लेफ्ट साइड फी स्टैंडिंग एट एक्स द टास्क इज टू चेक इफ इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर द गीक टू रीच सी एग्जैक्टली आफ्टर डी स्टेप्स ओके लेट सी एन एग्जाम्पल सो टू थ्री एट फोर फर्स्ट लाइन इज जस्ट केस and second is four say space separated a b c d so this is d this is c so we need to reach c in exactly four steps so the explanation goes like one of the possible ways is 2 5 8 11 8 okay so this the language of the question is a bit tricky but uh, i'll explain it to you so let us take the case of the first case so in this case a b c d are 2 3 8 4 respectively so we need to reach from 2 to 8 in exactly four steps okay and in each step the uh, particular person the geek can go x plus b or x minus b steps so for example from 2 he can from Two, he can go to two plus b is five, or he can go to two minus three is minus one. Okay, but uh, he needs to go to eight, so he will go to five, and then in the second step, when he has reached five, he's again do five plus b, which is eight. He will reach eight, and then these are two steps, and now two more are remaining, and c is eight. okay we need to do two more steps so we can do one more thing in the third step he can add 3 again and he will reach 11 and in the fourth and final step he will subtract 3 again and it it will reach 8 back so in this particular case going from a to c in exactly four steps is possible okay that is why they have written yes and in case it is not possible we have to write no this is a pretty interesting question uh, the idea for this question will be ki we will take these inputs and put it in a b c d and we will loop it for exactly d times and in case the uh, and we will keep performing these two operations okay till uh, we do for like we loop for d iterations and we'll keep checking in case the solution or the value of these two operation either of these is less than c then we'll perform this operation if it is greater than c we'll perform this operation and after d steps if it matches the value at c then we'll print yes so let's see how we will do it so starting will be usual for each test case greater than 0 and keep iterating over the test cases now the first line of each test case will be four space separated integers so let us these will be integers we will have to convert them to an array so now we will split that string into respective numbers and now uh, let us define one more thing to keep in mind is the range of a c b 
are all going to the range of long so let's take long uh, declare long variables okay and now try to parse these numbers into their respective variables so uh, for long we'll have to parse it into int 64 you try parse first will be a this is the syntax for try parse to parse d d will be the last one this will be c b ah. so now we got all four numbers and now we will uh, store the result here so a since a is the initial position a represents the initial position we'll put the value of a in result okay now we will just iterate till d lasts so since till d is greater than 0 we'll keep decrementing d and what we need to do is if at every stage we can only do these two operations x plus b x minus b so if result plus b is smaller than c then we just do result equal to result plus b okay no no actually just result in case till the particular operation if the value of result is smaller than c then we will set it to result we will do perform that particular operation even if it goes above c that is for the next iteration to check or else what can be done is result will be result minus b okay this will happen for exactly d iterations and in case result equals c at the end of d iterations then we will just print yes otherwise we will print no let's see test cases yeah okay let's try to submit this yeah this did the trick thank you